Hey there, YouTubers, right? 11 Gen i5. This is the uh, i5 11 600K, and we're going to get it out in a moment. Uh, before we get into that, though, I will eventually do some comparisons between it and the 10 Gen. Uh, I have an i5 10 600KF, probably even the i7 10 700K in the future, just so you know. All right, so we've the bag. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. And, well, box is a little dinged up. Let's take a look at the outside. You see this is the, like I said, the i5 11600K. This was launched in the first quarter of 2021. Lithography, lithography is 14 nanometers. And uh, price was, uh, I believe, 269 You may be able to get a predator price. And if you go with the... Uh, Ah, uh, the KF version, it'll be a little bit cheaper. So what else about this before we get into it? The box doesn't tell you a whole lot, but uh, the base frequency of these is 3.9 gigahertz, all right? You've got six cores, 12 threads on this, and the uh, max turbo frequency is 4.90. Of course, we can overclock it higher than that, 12 megs cache. And uh, so let's go ahead and get it out. All right, I might not have noticed, noted this, but made in Vietnam. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it open so we can take a look at it. All right, so what did my $269 buy? Well, we've got a uh, different sticker here. It doesn't even mention 11 gen on it. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. We're not gonna open up the pamphlet. Cardboard, usual, you know, look to it. Uh, of course, this does not come with a fan, okay? And we'll get this out in a second so you guys can see it. All right, so let's talk about some of the other info about this. Now, TDP for this is 125 watts. So you're not going to want one of those crappy Intel coolers. Uh, even the bigger one isn't going to work out so great. Max memory size, 128 gigs. This will support uh, DDR4-3200. So if you have uh, H510, you will actually... Uh, get to use better RAM than you would if you had the this version with an H410 okay so normally you would want to uh, use some static anti-static gear to hold this but since it's a video we're gonna go ahead and get in there and that's what the bottom looks like folks so um, I'm gonna put this down but that's going to do it for the video. Um, I'm going to talk about here shortly what we're going to do with this CPU here shortly. Uh, the videos we'll be making with it. All right, so let's talk about what we're going to do on the channel with this. We will have definitely some Fortnite videos. Now, because of where my I'm currently located, uh, I don't have all my graphics cards. So we've got about four graphics cards we'll work with. We'll do some Fortnite. Maybe we'll get Warzone working. Warzone's been real temperamental here where I'm at. Uh, we will do some benchmark videos. I'm going to install this in a Z490 to start with just to see if we can get that M.2 um, that says, you know, for future work or future use, get that going to see if it actually will work. Then uh, we'll probably benchmark it in there. We will then, uh, maybe we'll even check out the BIOS on that motherboard, see if it looks different. Uh, from there, we're going to put it in a uh, Z590M motherboard. We'll benchmark it. We'll do a bunch of videos based on the CPU. Uh, you guys will probably be tired of it at some point. But uh, I've got a uh, another 11 Gen coming in. And we'll go through the same uh, ordeal with B460 or, or probably H410 actually. Then a B560M. All right. So that's what the channel has in store for you related to this CPU. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.